close your eyes and try to forget about the world outside. Just be with the world inside your body. How does it feel inside your body right now? When you breathe in, where does it feel good? Focus your attention there. And keep on breathing in a way that feels good. You may find that the needs of the body will change. Or if you're not sure if it feels good, you can experiment with different kinds of breathing to see what feels best. Because there is a potential for well-being here inside the body, a potential that we don't make the most of, usually. And here's our opportunity to make the most of it. At the moment, there's nothing else you have to think about, nowhere else you have to go. So you can devote your full attention in here to give the mind a good place to stay inside the body. Because it doesn't have, if it doesn't have a good place to stay here, it's going to start wandering outside, creating other worlds to go into, like little bubbles that it blows, and then go floating off with those worlds until they burst. And then you may come back, or you may blow another bubble, keep on going and going and going, hardly ever coming back home at all. But what we want to understand is how the mind does that. Why does it create these other worlds? Because that's where the suffering lies. So you want to be have, <clears throat> you want to have the mind well established right here. So you can see the processes happening. And you say, oh, this is the suffering. When the Buddha is talking about the craving that leads to becoming, this is what he means. These little bubbles that the mind is blowing to create these different worlds. And you want to learn how to stop the process. That requires that you have a sense of well-being right here. So work on that right now. Find what way of breathing feels good, what way of spreading that good feeling around the different parts of the body. As the Buddha said, you try to spread that sense of ease so every part of the body is saturated, permeated with it. That way when the mind begins to pull out and to start forming another world, you can see the process. You understand why. You can gain some control over it. So learn how to inhabit the body right here. Make this your dwelling. Make it a dwelling where you like to stay. It all comes from exploring how the breath comes in, how the breath goes out, the different ways it comes in goes out, the different ways you can conceive of it, the different pictures you have in mind about the breath. And just in the process of exploring those issues, you learn an awful lot about the mind, an awful lot, a lot about well-being. Because after all, everything we do is for the sake of well-being. Yet all too often we're disappointed. So here the Buddha is offering a way to develop a sense of well-being that's right here, right now. One that once you've mastered it, you've mastered it, doesn't disappoint at all. <laughs>